What are you doing? Whoa. Did, 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 did that come out? Turn up the suction. <laughs> Always remember, you have to kiss your line. Kicking that butt, baby. What's up? <laughs> Let's party, baby. All right, guys. If you're new to the channel, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. Then I'll pop over there and hit the notification bell. And if you're loving the content, hit the like button, give us a thumbs up, and then hashtag bring dad back. You know what I'm saying? So today we're gonna do the dad challenge. I'm gonna go in and pick a bait that I know that my son's never fished before to take the challenge to the next level because he's always spanking my butt. Now we're gonna do this dad's way. Daddy Van Dam, let's get it. Yo, what's poppin' people? Welcome to another video. Daddy Van Dam today, hashtag Bring that back, back in the comment section. <laughs> Big tattoo, boy. You right. Boom, baby. Get you some, man. Get Boom, you baby. Some. See that? See his shirt, too? Hashtag the real deal. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what's up? We're going into Bass Pro Shop today. It's been such a long time since I've actually filmed in this Bass Pro. I didn't really have an idea for today's video. So we're going to walk in here and uh, see what they got. And he's going to pick out my baits. I'm going to wreck this fool. All right, we're in the outdoor world. What are you doing? What you looking at? You started out with here. You remember this? Yeah, dude, that's that's the old days. So first time you ever fished was with a boat this size right here. Yeah. Small, old nitro, little tiny nitro. Guys, we, we like people think differently. They're like, oh no, start off in a ranger, guys. We worked our way up. But yeah, we started off in a tracker, ended up working up to a nitro, and then working up to a ranger, then another ranger, and then another ranger. So it's been a little process. But that's yeah. Right. Remember how small it was? You had it. You had a slam full of tackle in the first month. We could not squeeze another thing in there. Yeah, but tell them why we got rid of this to go get a nitro. We got uh, beat up, bro. Well, <laughs> Noah would run me all around that lake all day long, sweating, hot, beating to death on Lake Lanier. Have you ever been to Lake Lanier and you see this little style boat? It's a party it's like lake. Riding a toothpick through the lake. <laughs> And he would run me all over the lake to where I couldn't take it anymore. He'd drop me off at the dock and call Grandpa, and then he'd run Grandpa all over the lake till he couldn't take it anymore. So finally, we upgraded boats to try to get out of this thing. And one day, we got caught in the middle of Saturday afternoon traffic, and by the time we got back to the dock, we had ripped the trolling motor completely off the boat. Yeah, that, that was about that time. We didn't have the nitro too long, and it was just like, that's when me and him started fishing tournaments a lot in Lake Lanier. And it, the nitro was good. It was it was a decent boat, you know. But the Ranger, man, it was so nice. We ended up getting a good deal on it from somebody that that we knew. And so, yeah, let's go ahead and get this video started, though. So, Dad, what the heck are you going to pick out for me today? I am going to scour this place inch by inch to find something that I know Noah's never fished before to level the playing field between me and him. Daddy Van Dam, fixing to put the whooping on him. I'm looking for something crazy, bizarro, like. I don't know, something that we saw, I saw one time like either a spider or a dragonfly. Oh gosh. Or you already fished a snake, so that's out. So I want to do something totally oddball just to make this even so we both have to learn it at the same time, the same speed, so you can catch the most fish. You're in the crappie section, man. <laughs> I ain't fishing for no crops. If I was a dragonfly and I was in Bass Pro Shop, where would I be hiding? If I was a spider and I was in Bass Pro Shop, where would I be hiding? So as you guys know, I've been throwing mag drafts in the past. This is called a, a, how do you even say that, dude? What the heck is that? I've never seen that before. It's got a feather hook. Word. It's got a feather hook on a I'm just gonna say this, mag draft, you need to change this to mag swole. <laughs> That's what that should say. <laughs> so you guys are not gonna believe this. What's going on around here? I'm gonna have to send Strike King. <laughs> This is ridiculous. They're gonna have to put me on the payroll, bro. Do you see what I see in the distance here? You will not believe what they're oh, advertising. Your little perch? They are literally advertising the popping perch on a poster. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I, I, I hate place. to say it, bro, but you have to admit, I, I dude, I had to have sold out of them. I get so many DMs every day. The popping pickle is right there. Come on, guys. That is the wackiest color. I did not see anybody fishing that before this. Come on. And the reason I found it out is because I did a weird lure fishing challenge. Like, I was calling it a weird lure. I didn't think it was going to slay. Now everybody's throwing them, man. This is the juice. I got a DM the other day of a guy, like, over 20-pound bag. Smoked him on the popping pickle. That thing catches the giants. I, I got to say that. What you looking at, Big Steve? 
Oh, Sabilzer. That's a juice. We've caught a ton of fish on those. Look God, at that, that one. What are you saying? Big as my Dude, arm, look, man. At, look at that one. God almighty. Dude, what the heck? You thought the last one was big. You know how Isaac's obsessed with the S waivers? Yes. So you see how the S waiver looks right there? Look at this. No, no, no. Look at Bass Pro Shop's version. That's literally the S, S waiver. 2.0. <laughs> Savage gear rat. I got a few of them. I just haven't filmed the video. You already fished with this too? Yeah. No, <laughs> no, no I haven't fished with it, but I have a few of them. Like that's a video to come. If you guys want me to, if you guys want to see me take out that rat right there, I got a few. Let me know in the comment section below. I got, I still have a bat. I got to make a video over a bat. I got to make a video over a duck. A bat, a rat, and a duck. Yeah, and I just did a All turtle. Into a last rat. last episode was a turtle. <laughs> Looks like you're gonna have to just pick me out of Chatterbait, man. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, this is probably the biggest plot twist I've seen all day. See that tiny, look how small it is compared to my hand. But look at the rod. Wow. That's interesting right there. Build dance, what a, I wanna know the secrets behind this bad boy. <sighs> so, since my dad is deciding to pick me out a dragonfly, look at this. They've been looking over there. I'd have to say probably about 20 minutes. This man, he's a trooper to be honest with you. Hunting a dragonfly in Bass Pro Shops. I don't even think they carry Lunker around here, so that's the problem. If my dad, you know, I'm gonna tell him, you know, he has to pick me out chatterbait if not, but maybe we can find like a dragonfly at Walmart or something. I don't know. We want something crazy like this. Something exotic. Yeah, well, they got one that's got warts on it and everything else. Looks like a frog. Dad, no way I can cast a fly lure. On a bait caster, <laughs> I'm sorry, but that is not happening. This guy, very, very kind gentleman, but man, there is no way we're casting some fly fishing lures on a bait caster. No way. There's a big plot twist in this video. I'm about to show you. We got to go pay. I cannot believe what he picked out. This is honestly one of those things where I would have never expected him to do what he just did, but I guess we're going to have to see. So we're going to go ahead and go check out. And then we're gonna be fishing. Hopefully we're gonna catch some fish on this. This is definitely the weirdest fishing lure I have ever used, hands down. 100%, and I promise him as well. So, let's get outside and then I wanna show you. How you doing? He's got all the money. He's rich, he's good looking, you know, the whole thing. <laughs> So we just got out of Bass Pro Shops right now. He's got the secret juice. I'm sorry, but he said I can't show you guys yet. And he's getting busted. You're fishing with it too. So, you know, we're both <laughs> busted on this one. I guess we're going to find out. I'm going to catch you guys at the pond. Stay tuned. It's time for the big reveal. I've got no on the ropes. He has no idea how we're even going to fish this stuff. The first part is this adjustable. Why are you whispering, Twinkie? First part says adjustable clear bobber. You actually run your line through it and you can fill it up with different lengths of water. Supposedly they won't see the clear bobber and help keep our bait on top because what we bought was, we actually went to the fly fishing section and we got some dragonflies. They're super lightweight, they're super cool, they're super awesome. Never fished anything like this before in our life so we're gonna see what we can do. Hopefully this is a key to Daddy Van Dam smoking Noah. Is that the weirdest lure you've ever used? This is the weirdest thing I've ever even thought about using. It's made out of some kind of foam. It's got little jiggly eyes on it. It's got wings. It's actually pretty cool. The fly fishermen can use it. We're gonna have to rig it up with this bobber, give it enough weight, we can actually cast it out. And we're throwing it on bait caster combos. On bait caster combos. It's a little windy today, and this is a super lightweight, so I'm a little worried about it, but fixing to pull this off and send it with packet. So one thing I want you guys to think about, the pond that we're at today, I fished for a very long time. Every time we usually come out here, Right out here is a big grass flat, and there's a ton of dragonflies that just cruise around there, hang around that tall grass on that side. And we've seen, both of us, I know you've seen it when you came here, bass come up and eat dragonflies. So I actually think that the bait he picked today is gonna be the juice. Is that a bee? No. Nope. It's but, a bug uh, on my hand. Definitely my weirdest, the weirdest lure I've ever used. I know the weirdest lure he's ever used too, so let's get it popping. So supposedly, put your line through the bobber. I'm trying to get the line through the bobber. I'm not knowing. You're what? I'm not knowing. So I'm not very coordinated here about doing this. Oh, my. Okay, so you see this bobber is clear. It's got a hole all the way through it. So supposedly you put your line through the bobber and we're going to do the small end forward because of course we're going to be pulling it back to us and forward. 
So once the line goes through the bobber, if I can get it through there, is it not going to go? <laughs> what are you doing? Whoa. Kid, 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 did that come out? Turn up the suction. <laughs> kid friendly now. Come on. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give it. I don't know. What is that? About three foot. Yeah. We we'll give it about three foot of distance. Are you gonna be able to cast? Yeah, that's about good. You pull the bobber apart and you twist this. And what that does is there's a rubber band in there and it's locking it down on your line. So the rubber band is twisting it. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but that's what holds on oh, to wow. your line and then it snaps back into place. Now the bobber won't move on the line because the rubber band's twisting around it and holding on to it. Professional. Pretty awesome deal. And it has some weight to it, so maybe we can get a good cast out of this. So what I have basically here is a three foot leader and I'm gonna mount my dragonfly on that. If you can see this, it's a pretty trick bait. I'm assuming this thing floats because it's made out of foam, so I'm sure it floats. Then the bobber is going to give me the weight that it takes to cast out there. And the guy did say this bobber, if we're having trouble casting it, we can actually fill that with water, so it's going to add more weight onto it. We might have to do that depending on how this goes. Especially with the wind today. I'm going to do the old famous Noah Pescatelli knot. Uni. Always remember, you have to kiss your line. There you go. That's the setup. We're gonna try it. We might have to adjust the leader depending on how far it works. Let's see how this works. I'm using him as a test monkey, so he's gonna give it a cast. It's not gonna work. Then I can adjust mine, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's a little light. We're gonna put some water in there. A little big Steve up before I rig mine. Oh gosh. You're gonna want a little more than that. It's about half. How many, you'll give that a try and then I can let some out if you want me to. Let me get out of your way before you go cast. Oh, that's perfect, ain't it? I mean, that's a pretty good cast. I mean, I'm pretty well, sure the bass is gonna go for the, the bobber or whatever. I don't know, it's a clear bobber. He's probably gonna have his eye on that. Dude, that thing looks so freaking good. Watch it. You better watch out, dude. Huh? Let me give this a shot. Oh yeah. I like it. I don't know about that front piece. I wasn't even recording. Guys, my first cast, I almost ruined it all. Dude, I can't even, what the heck, bro? <laughs> and then casted this in the trees, there ain't no way. Yeah, this, is, this is a real challenge. We've done some challenges in the past, but this is a real challenge. Using a fly, are you kidding me? No bass fishing lures, bass fishing challenge on a bait caster with a three foot leader. Should be interesting. Oh yeah. That was the cast. What? He ate your bobber? <laughs> I had a feeling that was gonna happen, man. Did he, he actually like took the bobber under? Like he's gonna eat it. Dude, there's dragonflies hovering over this stuff right now as we speak. Oh my gosh, he's under it, dude, he's under it. Oh, I spooked him. This would be a lot easier in a spinning combo, but guess what? We like challenges here on Kicking the Best TV, boys. I swear a snake just fell from that tree. Ooh. Ooh, he ate my bobber. He ate my bobber. Oh my gosh. I knew this, that was gonna happen, man. He destroyed the bobber. Oh. Oh, what the heck? I got too excited, I just lifted up. He took it under. It might have been a panfish. Two hours later. I have an idea, dude. I think I'm gonna set my dragonfly in that hole. Or just hover it over the top, like a real dragonfly. I'm getting soaked in the making, muddy and soaked. Oh, I can't get it out there, the weight of my, I'm trying my best. Now I got crap on my dragonfly. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I landed it perfect. I landed it perfect. But there's a little bit of crap on my dragonfly, but that could be natural, right? One eternity later. The dragon pop. Wait, the dragon bob is more, I don't know, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. I literally just went over to bust his head. Oh, just, oh my god, oh my god. I'm tucking down. He's looking at it. Two of them looking at it. Come on, fish. 
I know you want it. That's perfect cast. Perfect cast. Come on, fish. Destroy my bobber dragonfly. Oh my god. I'm on his nose. I'm on his nose. He's getting pissed. I'm not moving at all. Just listen with your ears right now. I got about four bass looking at it. My bait is about less than a half a foot from the bank floating. It's a good one too. Why did I stand up? Why did I stand up? Why did I stand up? This is insane. Like we're finally getting some. There's so many bass. Eat it. There's three on it. There's. You got one? Oh my God, he just got one. He just caught one on the dragonfly. All right, achievement unlocked. Next level, level up, baby. Challenge I can't believe accepted. it. All right, Noah, what do you got to say about the one, the old man here getting one up on you so far? You really wanna, uh, you really, <laughs> that fish wasn't even, wait. You mean he wasn't hooked? I just carried him halfway around the lake. He was just holding on. You really on. wanna know my opinion? He was just holding on for me to smoke you. I do not care, honestly. I'd let you catch 20 more, to be fair with you. Like, <laughs> this has been the hardest challenge I've ever done out of 800 videos. I thought I was literally gonna have to let this video just like zero. Like, this is my first video where I zero. That's what I thought that was coming to. Like, you caught the baby dragonfly bass. Holy cow. I can't believe it. I've never. How I am gonna I say this. That you, I saw you move your bobber, and I'm like, oh, he must be onto something. Because I hit the bobber like three or four times. Yeah. So. I stole your idea, but What'd you, did I you caught keep it. it like this? Yeah, that's how I caught it, just like that. I get, I gave it a little slack. The old dragonfly bass. I was just literally looking at five or six of them the whole time. I was like toying with it. They were following it. They would look at it, but they just weren't committing. 